Okay, so you want to do this. Let's change weapons. You can change weapons really easily. Or maybe just record any old app or game like this. This is an app I love to use called Semper, which puts quizzes on your lock screen, and it helps me with language learning, like Japanese. Toire. Tap, 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 jump. Tap, 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 jump. Crash. Then you've come to the right place. Okay, if you want to record Gear VR videos, then you've got a Galaxy phone. So, just like me, you'll download Mirror OP Sender for Galaxy. Otherwise, you'll get that first app in the list. Um, this is what I use. This app mirrors my Samsung device without rooting to my desktop computer, which I then use a screen recorder to record my phone screen so that it doesn't have any extra load on my phone. You just download a receiver software on your computer and you're up and running. You're gonna download that receiver software here um, at mirroop.com. You're gonna look at this receiver software section, Windows, Mac, iPad, or Android receiver. I downloaded the Windows receiver and it's free. So you download and install the Mirror OP receiver software, then open that up first. Make sure your phone and computer are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Then open up the Mirror OP Sender for Galaxy app or just the Sender app um, on your Android phone and it'll show a, a list of receivers that it finds locally. It should only find the one on your computer though. Go ahead and select that one. Then you'll be brought to this screen um, with a play, stop, pause, or home button. Home just takes you to your phone's home screen, pause, pauses the transmission, stop, ends the transmission, and play um, starts the transmission. And I'm already transmitting uh, the signal right now. As you can see, there's no on-screen menu buttons, and the Samsung phone doesn't have a built-in menu button. Um, so it took me a while to figure out where do I get to the settings to change some things that would make my recording better. I tried holding the back button to try and get to the menu button, but it just pulls up this screen. Um, so that's not it. Um, what I had to do was pull out my Bluetooth controller and press the select button, which brings up the menu, the hidden menu. That's a pro tip right there. Um, you can rotate your recording, which probably won't need. Um, press select again. Uh, angular correction which you probably won't need. Um, quality, I have mine set to high. Um, you're gonna have to experiment with this. I have good Wi-Fi connection, um, so my videos can handle it. My computer can handle it. Um, I select again, max resolution. Um, this is setting the max resolution. I'm setting my max resolution to very high. Um, I have good Wi-Fi for that. You could probably get away with it too. Um, and I am recording Gear VR videos, so that's even more intensive than your regular game. Um, remote control. This allows you to control your phone from the mirrored device, which in my case it would be my computer. I can look at my phone on my computer and control it from my computer. Uh, I don't need to do that, so I disabled it just to save on any processing so, so that it's not listening for any input from my computer. I disabled that. Now select one more time, I'm going to hit more. Now audio mirroring, I also disabled this because at first, before I knew how to access these settings in my first video, um, you'll see that I ended up just turning the volume all the way down because the, vo the audio doesn't send as well um, or consistently as the video. Um, so in some games, it was just a loud screeching noise, so I just disabled that and I'm having the audio just come right out of my phone when I record my videos and then my microphone picks up that audio and that works just fine. Next in the more section is last session benchmark. Just gives you some info about uh, what's going on. Okay, and that last option, image codec, um, I'm leaving it on standard. You can try fast H264. Um, I, I honestly don't know which one is better, but it says the encoding method may cause crash or some abnormal results on some devices. Um, I've been doing just fine with the standard, so that's what I'm gonna keep it at. 
for Gear VR videos, just make sure to open the soft, open the Mirror Op software on your computer, then open it on your phone, um, get it connected, and then you can connect your phone into the Gear VR and set it up, and it'll work. It even um, continues sending with the screen off, so you don't have to worry about that. One thing to note is that Mirror Op Sender for Galaxy, um, it does cost I think eight to ten dollars for the full version where you can record um, however long videos you want and so that was worth it for me especially because um, I have the Google surveys app which I was building up credits for the longest time and so I had I, I think I had maybe a dollar less than how much it cost so it only cost me a dollar um, so it was definitely worth it for me um, so you can get it and it'll still work for maybe about five minutes and then it interrupts the recording. Um, but you can do, you know, short, short intervals and then edit them together. Um, and that could work for you. If you don't want to do that, this is a great second option. ADV screen recorder is free um, on the market and there's no root required. Um, you can add, you can go pro to remove ads, but but the ads don't affect your recording. Um, you can record however long videos you want. So with this one, there's some extra steps involved, like you have to transfer the videos after they're done recording from your phone to your computer. Um, you can also mess around with the settings to get everything right um, for you. They have a great tutorial right on the home page right here this the top video um, is a good tutorial in and of itself um, so that one's free and it can work really well for you it also lets you put your webcam into the video let's see if it shows it anywhere yeah in this picture you can see a webcam there in the bottom right corner um, and so that one works well too okay now to record videos like the one you're currently watching where my webcam is in it and where there's a background image of space, so I'm just using that to fill in the, the blank space. Um, I use open broadcast software, OBS. Um, this one, OBS Studio on the right here. I downloaded the Windows 7, 8, 10, so I clicked on that. Um, oh, and it's already trying to download. So yeah, it's a great free open source software for live streaming and recording and it's amazing and it has tons of settings um, you, you can have your webcam wherever you want on the screen whatever background images text like I have my um, my username Spikachu showing on there um, you can have other videos playing into there um, so it's very customizable and it's free and open source and it's amazing here's a quick look at OBS studio um, what I have set up, you can have your microphone plugged in here. Um, you can record from your computer mic, which I've muted. You can record the desktop audio, which I have muted. I have a Blue Yeti microphone, which I am using to record. Um, a Lenovo webcam microphone, I don't know. I don't think I even need that. Um, and then you have different layout here. Like this is what I use for landscape app, which it's not set up correctly right now. Just a regular Chrome, whole welcome screen, um, and this is the whole screen. And I can have different filters for this webcam. See right now it's more squarish, but in the welcome screen I take off the filter and uncrop it so that it fills the whole screen. Um, but in this whole screen profile I want it to be cropped and a little smaller. There we go, you have this infinite loop going on because I'm recording what I'm recording, which is why I had this over that, so you don't get all confused. Um, and there's OBS Studio, I love it. This is my game Lone Tank that I made a few years ago. Um, let's see how it does. Kind of like Space Invaders. I'm actually looking at my computer screen instead of my phone. It's got awesome boss battles like this where you need to save your power-ups like my armor the flamethrower so I can defeat him look at that sick boss you have to take out every gun 
Um, so yeah, this is a shameless shout out, but I'm also showing you that you can record your gameplay. And actually, um, <clears throat> the Gear VR gameplay is a little looks, I think, a little smoother than this, but this doesn't look too bad. So yeah, see, there's some lagging, but uh, you can try the different qualities. Like I'm on very high, like I said. Um, so you can try not as high. I also you can also change the frame rate. Um, there we go, victory. For now, go buy the full version in the Play Store. Now after I'm done recording a video, I every time I need to do editing, obviously for the intro, I'm going into gameplay. For this video, I needed to do a lot of editing. Um, and for that, I use Blender, which is also a free and open source software and is just getting more and more amazing as the years go by. Um, it's usually for creating 3D objects, but it has uh, great video editing capabilities, especially for my purposes, and I'm sure it'll be good enough for yours. So there are some really good YouTube tutorials on Blender video editing, and I'll include the links for those in the description. Well, there you have it. That's how I make my Gear VR videos, and hopefully this is gonna help some of you start making your own videos, whether it's Gear VR, or Android apps or games. If this video helped you, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if it helped you a lot, please leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys, even if it's something random. Subscribe for more videos. In the future, I'm gonna be branching off into other topics um, of technology, like Magic Leap, and other things that I think are awesome that are coming in the future. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, add me on Snapchat. Thanks for watching.